we are really excited to bring the, the Sanyong Corando to the UK. It is a superb vehicle. It's really of its time. The response we've had from the press to date at launch has been fantastic. The nameplate Corando is one that's been around actually for nearly the length of the company. And this is the fourth generation that's been launched and it's a huge step ahead from the old one. The new Corando has been designed by the Sanyong design team in Korea. And if you look at the front and the rear of the vehicle, for example, there is the Sanyong telltale bird swing on both the front grille and on the rear of the vehicle. And there are also those muscular haunches towards the rear, over the rear arches. We think they've been doing a fantastic job in recent years of producing very international taste out of the design studio. But it's also been engineered by people who are at the core of the C segment. The Blaze cockpit for us is a combination of technologies inside the car to give a proper, high-tech, fully modern experience. And it blends things like uh, the guitar frets uh, are the one of the themes that was picked up for the instrument panel to make the, the whole interior feel very upmarket, very modern and very contemporary. The cabin is a very premium finish and it was deliberately done that way. We are trying to appeal to customers who expect a little bit more value and a little bit more value means a better product with better specification at a more competitive price and that's shown by the material finishes for example inside and outside the vehicle. There are a number of features that we really like about it. Firstly there are dual screens so there's a center screen and there's also an LED screen in front of the driver in some derivatives where you can mirror the information. There are also technologies like CarPlay, Android Auto, as well as the lovely mood lighting that is changeable to a number of colors. The new Corando has been designed to be very spacious inside. It's been designed to give better shoulder width, better leg room and better headroom than the outgoing model and is deliberately designed to give a feeling of opulence and a feeling of luxury from the space you get when you're inside. The new Corando comes with two engines, a brand new petrol turbo engine, 1.5, and an upgraded 1.6 turbo diesel. It's also available with manual and automatic and 4x2 and 4x4. We are launching with the diesel auto versions and over the next three or four months, the petrol auto and then the petrol and diesel manuals will become available. And they are all Euro 6D compliant, highly efficient engines and fully competitive within the market. The new Corando has got superb driving experience and we particularly see that in two ways. Firstly, we benchmarked the vehicle from an NVH perspective, noise, vibration and harshness, against some of the best people in the market, and it's benchmarked really, really well. Secondly, for it's the first Sanyong that's had special ride and handling development in Europe to European tastes. The towing capacity of the vehicle ranges between 1.5 and 2 tonnes. There is a tonne of stowage in the back of a Corando. There are a couple of very clever luggage trays that you can fold away inside the vehicle and the boot can go quite deep also. The vehicle comes with a huge array of safety features, whether it's lane keeping assist, or the autonomous emergency braking, or the front vehicle start alert, as well as things to assist you to remember to take a break. We know that as a challenger brand, we need to offer a bit more vehicle for a bit less money than the next person. That comes across in a couple of ways. Firstly, very aggressive pricing for the car, and secondly, you can also see it in our seven year, 150,000 mile warranty. The launch of the new Corando is fantastic for Sanyong in the UK and for Sanyong globally. It's a properly competitive car in the C segment and it will help change people's perceptions, not only of Corando as a nameplate, but also for Sanyong as a brand. I remember it was like 2012 when he got the first design philosophy called a triple and three motion. And as its name implies, it's, um, it's basically inspired by the uh, varietal motions of nature and gives some impressions to people with full of joy. That's the uh, basic concept of nature born three motion. Um, the first design that this design philosophy was firstly introduced was with the XIV concept car series from 2012 to 2014 and that those series of concept cars are the original concept models of the Tivoli unveiled in 2014. It's the one of our design identity of representing the rough, the tough character lines at the rear and the front, mm -hmm. and it's basically originated from the shape of Korean mountain ridge. So 
you know, those things are inspired by the uh, Korean topography. I would say Sangyong is an SUV expert instead of off-road maker because, um, well, it may sound like there is not that big difference between the SUV and off-road car, but considering the contemporary SUVs on the street out there right now, those cars are not just for running across the uh, off-road in the wild nature. Of course, SUVs are originated from the real good old-fashioned off-road cars, but it has evolved into, I think, life-oriented cars. Three years back, we started to develop the Corando, and at the initial stage, we selected two uh, benchmarking models. And the, the first one was uh, Hyundai Tucson, and the second one is uh, Kia Sportis. Since, especially in Korean market, the two products are produced by the Korean the major player Hyundai and Kia. That's why we chose the uh, Hyundai Tucson and the Kia Sportis as our main uh, reference model for the benchmarking when we are starting to develop the Corando three years back. Especially Sangyong wanted to focus on the, the performance in the real life. That is, actually this is a CSUV car, so we have to secure good luminance at the login space, which is far better than the Hyundai and Kia. Mm -hmm. And also, for the, especially for the luggage uh, room, uh, the, the size of the luggage space is in VD modes, the 551 liter, and which is uh, a little bit uh, about the bigger by the competitor than the four, uh, 40 liter. So we are proudly say this guy is really for the passenger a car with a good capacity to have a luggage in the luggage space. And then secondly, uh, we have applied the clean seal door, which is currently available in the Rexton and Musso. So which is a very expensive solution. So through the application of this clean seal door, uh, we can secure the good ingress and egress of the car, which it can be highlighted compared to the normal C SUVs. And uh, thirdly, we put a lot of uh, emphasis on the high technology. Uh, for the youngest customer. So they are quite uh, happy to have kind of a gadget such as uh, the 10.25 inch meter cluster and the 9 inch uh, uh, navigation system. And on the right, right side or left side of the instrument panel, we, are, we have applied a very uh, good uh, mood lamp, which can be, we can, customer can change the color of the lighting and the uh, uh, 32 ways depend on their moods on board. So three points are the points we can proudly communicate or say as a USB of the Grand against the Hyundai and Kia products. We spend a lot of money and energy to in improve the MBH performance. So we can uh, clearly say the MPG performance of this car is uh, much better than the Hyundai Tucson and Sportis. The thing is, the, when we developed uh, Rexton and the Rexton Sports, the MPG performance is really important uh, for the, the cost, uh, Korean customer and the customer outside of Korea. That's why we stress the, the development of MPG performance to be much better than competitor. And uh, now, in Korean customer are so quite happy to drive very silent, the Rexton, and you can have the same feeling in the new Corando.